Hello, Tia. Hi, Julia. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for being here. No problem. Thank mm -hmm. you for asking me. Yes. Um, I will ask several questions okay. about uh, yourself and your education background okay. and probably your job. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is your name? My name is Thea Hector. Oh, Thea. <laughs> Thea, what do you do? I am an ESL instructor at mm. Success. I see. You are an ESL instructor at yes. Success. What's ESL? Can ESL? You tell? Uh -huh. uh, English as a second language. Oh, English as a second language. Mm -hmm. Interesting. How did you become an ESL teacher? What process did you go through? to become an ESL teacher at Success? Mm. I finished my education mm -hmm. at high school mm -hmm. and college and university. Wow. And then I wasn't sure mm -hmm. what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And um, my mom actually, uh -huh. she was the one who suggested uh -huh. uh, I try to be a teacher. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I found an information session mm -hmm. at um, Vancouver Community College. Mm -hmm. And I went to the information session. Mm. And I was so excited. Mm. And that's when I decided I wanted to be a teacher. Mm. So you say you went to Vancouver Community, Community College. College. We say mm -hmm. VCC. Yes. She went there to get some information. Mm -hmm. VCC. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, you you work at success. Yes. Yeah? Success? What success? Success. Yes. Uh, so success is a non-profit organization mm -hmm. and it helps newcomers to settle in Canada. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. So success is trying to do a very good job yes. for immigrants. Yes. <laughs> Uh, some people are very interested in teaching English like you okay. at like a success. Uh, what would you advise them? Mm. What would you say those people who wants to be an ESL teacher like you? Mm. What, how would you advise? I would say first you want to finish your high school mm -hmm. uh, get a diploma for high school and after you finish high school uh, you would go on to college or mm -hmm. university mm -hmm. and complete your degree could mm -hmm. be in education or could be in maybe science yeah. Yeah, any any major is mm -hmm. fine I see also after degree did you get any certificate? I finished at Vancouver Community College uh -huh. and I got my TEFL. Oh, TESOL certificate. Uh, TEFL. Oh, TEFL. TEFL. TEFL, yes. okay. TEFL means TEFL. Uh, oh, teaching okay. English to yes. foreign learners. Yeah. So how do you spell TEFL? TEFL? Yeah. T E F L. L. Oh, okay. Mm. Teaching English as a foreign, foreign language. language. So okay. So you say we need you need high school diploma. Mm -hmm. After that, you need college or university degree. Mm -hmm. So four years degree. Mm -hmm. After that, you need to get a, a TEFL, or we say TEFL certificate. Mm -hmm. Teaching English as a foreign language. Mm -hmm. So for the TEFL the, uh, certificate, how long did it take to get a, this certificate? How mm -hmm. long did it take? It depends. Some people mm -hmm. can do it full-time or you can uh -huh. do it part-time. Uh -huh. um, I did it full-time. Full-time so. means how long did it take? Do you remember? Oh my goodness, it was a really long time Long ago. time ago. Uh, was it less than one year? Less than one year. Mm -hmm. Less than one year, uh -huh. and then I did uh, practicum. Practicum. Yeah. Where did you do the, your practicum? My practicum. Uh -huh. I did it with. Oh boy, I don't remember. Oh okay. Uh, it was an organization. Organization uh, like ESL. Like success. Like a success. Mm -hmm. And I helped the teacher in her classroom, mm -hmm. and I helped the students with homework oh. and helped them 
check their grammar. I see. Mm -hmm. So where did you get your TEFL uh, certificate? T E F L. Mm, where? Uh, Vancouver Community College. Oh, she said again, Vancouver Community College, VCC in Vancouver. Yes. It's a very famous school. Yeah. I like, you know, that college. Did you go there? My son, he goes. He goes there. Mm. Yeah, he's taking. Culinary arts. Oh wow! Yeah, because the school VCC they have uh, so many different kinds of programs that you can take, including TEFL. Exactly. It's very good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mm. uh, some people may wonder how much you get paid. Some people <laughs> like ask you, "Is it good job? Is do you make a good money? You know, good money." How would you say to those people? Mm, the is it best answer I can say <laughs> is that it depends on your experience and it also depends on the hours. Oh, depends on your experience mm -hmm. and your hours. Your hours. Mm -hmm. How experience much you work. hours you work. Mm -hmm. And also uh, depends on your volunteer experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, volunteer experience. Oh, yeah. So, did you volunteer, like, uh, you know, teaching ESL? Uh, Where did you volunteer? Actually, really? um, I did tutoring. Oh, tutoring. As well. Oh, so I see. I did my practicum, mm -hmm. and I also did tutoring. Mm -hmm. um, and this tutoring, they don't have it anymore. Oh, um, okay. But it was called Homefront Learners, mm -hmm. and you can go to the learner's home, mm -hmm. and you teach them English. I see. Mm -hmm. So if you have a, a volunteer experience in teaching English, teaching ESL, that's really useful. Mm -hmm. If you really want to be a teacher like Thea, yes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, Thea. Thank you for being here, uh, taking the time with me. You're very welcome. Yes. Uh, I wish your uh, information is very useful for my viewers. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. One. What's your name? Number two. What do you do? Number three, what is ESL? Number four, what process did you go through to become an ESL teacher at success? Number five, some people are interested in teaching English like you what would you advise them? Number six. How long did it take to get a TEFL certificate? Number seven. Some people may wonder how much you get paid as an ESL teacher. Can you tell us how much you get paid?